Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got part two of my Vikings single back A slot. This has got to be one of my favorite playbooks this year. You're probably going to see a lot of work out of this. Um, if you're seeing part two, uh, you know, I still got more Vikings I want to put out out of the Jumbo Near, a whole package, a whole series of plays. It's only six plays in that whole formation, so you know I get creative with them because there's, uh, there's some seriously good stuff in there. So hit the like button if you want to see that. Obviously, some really great run plays based on the huge blocking advantage you're always going to have. Uh, but for now, I'm going to continue with the uh, the single back a slot i'm pretty sure that's not going to be the name in custom uh just make sure you go into the vikings playbook check to see what the name is uh you can see right there i got seven i'm averaging 17 yards a play that's how explosive this playbook is uh make sure you check out the first one i'll pop a little montage for that the first one was fire Here's the PA Scissors Flood. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that. Keep going random, three, four. This year, there's a couple different adjustments I like. The best one is probably motioning Treadwell over. Now, Diggs is right in that cover three seam. Uh, your Murray and Carter routes are uh, really good cover two beaters. And then I also like putting Hodges here in a little bit of a, of a drag. Now, uh, the square route actually can, can work outside. You got to pass lead most times. But it's not the end of the world. So I, I really think the best play right here is Murray, Hodges, and Carter. Let's go ahead and let's run this. My first read is going to be that running back. He's going to be open pretty quick. And now this year the tight ends block after the catch. So that's nice. That was actually some really good pressure that they got on me there. We're sending that heat. I'll try to look X or squares way quite a bit. Like I said, you got to typically pass lead outside for that route to be effective. But it is effective. Oh, that's just a nice flood. And we got Carter up the sideline. Let's go. You see how all three of them are just in a line up the side. Yeah, this is one of my, my more uh, more, more favorite plays here. This is a very, very money play. Um, very simple. Like I said, not a lot of blocking, though. I typically am canceling the play action, too. I'm typically hitting that R2. Uh, that was the wrong button. God damn it. He caught it anyway. <laughs> I don't know what button I'm hitting. What did I hit there? I meant to hit circle. Circle was wide open over the middle. But you know what? Still had to go up and make that user, bro. So let's go ahead and let's run it again. That was definitely the wrong button. Can't believe I did that. Oh, that triangle route. I can just tell it's going to be wide open again. Look at that. It's just such a money, money cut. Certain routes just get insane acceleration boosts. And there's a lot of them in this formation. Um, that You can tell by how, by how drastic the arches are. If it's going to be one of these crazy acceleration boost uh, plays, like that triangle one again. Look at that. Look at that. You just can't cover this guy. That's that's a crazy route. If you got zone coverages, the fact that you have a short route and Hodges and Murray are going to pull those zone coverages, those yellow zone coverages down pretty quick. They're going to react to that and uh, pass off these deeper routes to the safeties. That's typically how it works. Look how wide open he is. Good Lord, 94 had no chance. Man, I really want to try to hit some of these other guys, but that tight end is just screaming my name. He's so wide open. It's kind of hard to, you know, not look at him. I mean, he's right there. Uh, but it's really these tight ends and this running back that make this play so good. Oh, we got that cover too. Touchdown. This is murdering. Like I said, this is one of my more favorite plays here. It's a little bit late in the video, but it's definitely money. This is what you get a reward for sticking around. Oh, we're going to get that triangle route again, aren't we? We're going to get that triangle route again, aren't we? Man, this dude, that's a safety, too. He has no chance. He has no chance. All right, last one. PA boot comeback. Like I said, I found most of these plays in the Bucks playbook, but this is another one that was not in the Bucks playbook. So we'll go ahead and we'll use this one, and we'll finish the video. Uh, really good formation. Let's go ahead and let's pick this. Real easy. You're motioning this guy over. You can put him on a slant if you want to. I mean, that, that's always an option. You just have him crossing. I like that route. Uh, works for me or you can motion them over and then put them on a drag it's that simple not a lot going on here we'll go ahead and we'll rock this look how wide open that x route is i should i should have stopped before i threw but it's all good 
I said, this is real simple. All you're going to do, put the running back in a block. You can put Carter here in a slant and leave him like that. you got to put him in some sort of pattern um, just to get the, the play going. Uh, but basically, just put him in a slant, motion him over. I'm well, not a slant, I'm sorry. It's typically a drag. You put him in a slant for the first way, or you can motion him over put him in a drag. Um, and then you just see how Hodges is just going to get wide open. This is a concept I've used dozens of times last year. Um, you know, with the uh, the over under, uh, it's basically what I consider a cover two concept over the middle, um, where basically uh, one of these two tight ends is going to get open every time. Look how they're, they're just getting the zones are getting pulled down by the drag, the guy gets open deep. It's that easy. The linebackers typically read the short first, they pass the long off to the safeties, and the safeties are nowhere to be found. It's typically how this play works. Look at that. Wide open. I had to wait a little bit. I actually, waited too long. He was open a little bit earlier, but. And if the user drops back into Hodges, Carter is going to be wide open for, you know, not a lot of zones really cover drags well. Not zones or mans or anything. I mean, it's like this guy's going to be open underneath for catch and run to the point where you can kill him with paper cuts and they're going to have to pay attention to that. So it's really not, um, you know, there's not a lot of ways, not a lot of ways to stop these plays. We got that extra route wide open again. And I'm throwing on the run, which is probably not the best way to go, but still working out. You can keep that play action, you can get rid of that play action pre-snap. Or you can just hit R2. Uh, the play action definitely makes it uh, a little bit more of a dangerous throw. And look at that, he's just wide open. And I'm going to get a touch? No. Hodges is playing pretty good, but the next play I'm going to show is kind of basic. It's the verticals wide cross. I mean, there's some good adjustments here. I guess I'll just do all three on this uh, video. Uh, right here on this page and then I'll leave the rest of them uh, for 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 you know part two or my patreon if you guys remember my patreon make sure to check this out if you want to see this right away but let's go ahead and let's pick that verticals wide cross up top uh, we'll keep going random through four so there's a couple different things you can do here one you can just put the X route on the slant I like those crossing patterns um, I would always leave this guy in the block your running back this art just put him in a, on a block uh, but really I think that the most dynamic way to run this is to take Carter here and move him to the other side and um, and then I think it also helps to put the uh, the X route on it basically a nice cover two beater essentially uh, I'm gonna move the ball in a minute to uh, you know make this uh, give myself a little bit of room uh, but then the other side is a check down Laquan Treadwell um, on a nice uh, slant route really comes open well underneath and I think that that's um, you know one of the better ways to do it but like I said you need room on the outside you can't run this like this so let's go ahead and let's move the ball so like I said, make a pre-snap read, uh, whether it's a good idea to motion this guy or not. Um, you can always leave Hodges in the slant too. I mean, it's not the worst option, um, but he, I, I kind of like him, uh, you know, pulling coverage down because if he's open right away like he is here, which he will be a lot of times, you get this nice little check down, easy 10 yards, take that all game. Um, that's your first read. If you see that Hodges, the X route is open, take it. You know what I'm saying? There's no, there's no like, you know, I'm trying to get a big play out of this. Just take that. Just, just take those paper cuts all game long. You know what I'm saying a little bit of more athleticism would have been nice there. But hey, five yards is a first. Five yards here, five yards there. Moves the chains. That's all you need. So, like I said, I'm, I'm really just watching that cover two concept outside. And if that's not there, this guy right here comes open easy because uh, that that circle route's pulling everything back. And the more you run this motion here. And run this type of play which you know this will be helpful in certain run plays i'll show you down the line too but um this will basically get your opponent's attention and that'll make that square route open up even easier like right there over the middle why did he keep running what was that about i don't know why i get the guy didn't keep running i didn't pick it i didn't <laughs> i didn't possess and catch the ball all right so we'll just run this a couple different ways um you know make my uh my adjustments here you see how that x if i leave it on a on a uh, drag how it gets open underneath everything too so you can drag Hodges, you can slant them. It's up to you. They're all good. You still have a cover two concept. Wow, that was a hell of a blitz. You still have a cover two concept on the other side with the running back coming open underneath too. This play is a much easier setup too. All you're really doing is motioning and slanting a guy. And you see there, like the, the linebackers just get lost. You got a slant coming and then a drag underneath. Just like the first play, it's really money. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to try to shorten this up and uh, make that the last play. And we'll go ahead and we'll move on.